Hello and welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma and I'm a home educating mum of three from the UK and I'm in my car like a weirdo. No, it's not really. Um, I am in my car. I'm not a weirdo. Anyway, um, I'm in the car outside of the guide hut for Bessie to go to brownies because she really does not cope with the idea of me going home even though we live five minutes away. She would much rather I was in the building with her. Um which is fine because I'm a guiding leader. I could be in there if I want to, but I don't really. Um, I like going to guides um, because they are older girls and it's fun and I like being with my rainbows, but I also I like don't want to do every single section. So I'm like, I usually sit out. There's a lovely duck pond here. I'll just turn you around so you can see. I'll turn you around, look. A lovely duck pond. It's a lovely duck pond. Um, it's called Bard Lake and um, you're going to fall over now, aren't you? Okay, it's a lovely duck pond and I usually go and sit on one of the benches overlooking the duck pond where she'll be able to see me because on a hot day, on a warm day, they have the fire escape open to get a breeze and I will sit in sight of the fire escape she can poke her head out and she knows I'm there. Um, or I'll sit outside of the fire escape, like just outside there on a chair. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, but today it is rainy. It has rained pretty much all day long um, and it is windy. So they haven't got the fire escape open and I really don't want to sit under the bench because I'm just going to be cold. So I said to her, look, I'm going to sit in the car. You know where the car is in relation to the guide heart. You know where I am. If some calamity befalls you or you're really, really struggling. Um, like no one is going to make you stay if you really don't want to be here. Just let somebody know and um, and I and they will come and get me and I will come it'll be fine um so she's okay with that she's okay with that and um my i am doing a, a leadership qualification with girl guiding and my mentor is there um so um yeah my mentor is there so and and she really likes my mentor so i think that will be good she can um go and be with her if she needs to which is lovely um so yes I wanted to talk to you today about what is next. Um, not what is next for me or for the channel, but what is next for my children. So um, before anyone asks, <laughs> don't panic. This is still going to be a home education channel. I'm still home educating. Um, so Charles is 11 and a half almost. Uh, by the time this goes out, he'll probably be 11 and a half. And he would be starting secondary school in September if he was going to school and loads of people have been getting their oh either coming in the post on facebook oh my child got into the secondary school they wanted to and it made people start asking the age-old question once again uh what's gonna happen next with charles and some relatives were like i'm really worried about what's gonna happen next with charles like and so on and so forth um and so i thought i'd do this video to just put a stop to any rumors or any other nonsense that keeps being said Charles is being home educated for senior school. No discussion, no, like, there's nothing. There's nothing else to say. Charles is being home educated for senior school. He's not going to senior school. He's being home educated. By the time we're done, he'd have been home educated his entire life. Um, so he will be, um, he's still going to be home educated in September. He's still going to be home educated all the way through. And the question keeps coming up. Well, what are you going to do for... GCSEs what are you going to do for whatever so um we have never wanted him to do GCSEs and I did do a video maybe a couple of years ago now about that children can take GCSEs and that I wanted him to take English and Maths GCSE um I don't want him to do that anymore um if if it goes the way I would like it to go um we are going to do a high school diploma and think about how many homeschoolers slash home educators there are in America they all do high school in some way and they do high school at home they do they home educate high school and we are going to be doing the same um the same template of that uh, which involves doing four years of english four years of maths three years of science some history some geography some personal finance some health nutrition health and health and nutrition education uh, pe and a host of electives uh, that he will get to pick based on his interests and his future goals. So that will start around the time he is about 14 and go through to he's 18. Um, if he wants to go to university and needs A-levels, 
because for most jobs you don't need A levels, you need GCSEs um, if he's going to go straight into them. But if he wants to go to university and do A levels, then um, he can do that alongside. He can do that. He can do AP courses, which are advanced placement courses, and then he can take an SAT. So it's just one exam, um, which is like a general um, knowledge, I guess. Not general knowledge, but you know what I mean? Like a general, how much do you know of the work you've been taught in the last few years? Um, and he will do that if he wants to go to university. However, I can't see him going to university. But then again, how many parent, other parents of 11 year olds say that they could see their kid going to university? I don't know. Um, I don't think he'll go to university. I, the jobs that he has always wanted to do and still really, really wants to do, the things that he's really passionate about, I don't think he'll end up going to university. I can see him being self-employed, um, which is really common with autistic people, is that they end up being self-employed or they end up being in a really niche job that they really like. All of my adult friends who are autistic have, have found themselves in a job that um, are either self-employed or they're in a job where it's a really, really niche interest of theirs. Um, and I can see him doing that too. And I can certainly see Bessie doing that as well. Albert, I can see him being someone crazy like Richard Branson, but let's not even go into that. So we're going to be, um, I've left a link in the description of how we're going to be doing it. Um, and that is with an umbrella school. So it's really common in America to have these umbrella schools where they, um, because they have a lot more rules, because it's, it's a lot more common to home educate. There's a lot more rules state by state. And these umbrella schools make sure you're adhering to all the rules of your state, right, in America. That's not a thing here, as we know. Um, there are a few overzealous local authorities, but there are not these big, massive rules, right? So um, uh, these umbrella schools help them stay accountable and do the things they're supposed to do. But they also help international students as in people outside of america do um high school at home and they basically accredit everything you've done um and give you a high school diploma and a transcript at the end of it making it super super easy um and then it's e a lot easier to um present a completed transcript of stuff and diploma and all of that sort of stuff to a university or employer or whatever <laughs> Um, so that's what we're going to do, at least for Charles. I may have worked it all out by myself by the time Bessie's doing it, although she's only two years behind him, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I will be doing it through the Umbrella School. It works out at something like $150 a year, which is what, like 125 quid? Um, and I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay with that expense to make it easy for me to do. Um... But yes, that's what he's going to be doing. He's going to be doing a high school diploma. He's really excited. He ha I made him a huge list of electives that I was willing to facilitate or that Phil was willing to facilitate in some way, shape or form. Excuse me. I just, I just hom like humped down a, a naked bar and it's repeating on me. My apologies. Um, yeah, so and he's into he's like robotics, game design, um, coding computer science which would be like building a computer um cooking sewing textiles um child care because he really would like to work and he either wants to work in work with coding which he would have to go to university for or he wants to um work with children specifically either play therapist like 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 a play specialist in hospitals to help kids like get used to medical procedures because uh, he's had a play specialist so he knows how cool they are and he's like I could do that job and I like that <laughs> I like that he does that uh, or he wants to work in childcare specifically early years um his forest school that he is a uh, that he goes to that he's been going to their preschool went to their preschool went to the, actually they went to their mum and baby group they started as a mum and baby group then they became a preschool then they became a home ed group and like they've got all of this all this multifaceted stuff now so he went to the mum and baby group with me then he went to the preschool and now he's in the home ed group and he's about to leave the home ed group and he's about to go to essentially the senior school um home ed group for a school um he'll be starting in september um so he's gone all the way through and all of this like the home ed side is led by an amazing man named justin and i've left a link to their company down below if you are local to the new forest and you are looking for some kind of childcare or forest school or anything like that 
check it out. Uh, Justin is amazing. He's such a nice person. Um, and so is his wife, Liz, who also runs like another side of it called Embers. Um, and Ben, who is Liz's brother, who runs the preschool. Again, absolutely amazing. Like all three of them are amazing human beings. And all of their staff are really fab fabulous as well. Shout out to Britta and Emma Jane. Um, but yes, um, and I say this because they've all looked, they've looked after all three of my children and they're just have a unique way with them and <laughs> then not many other people have so yeah justin um basically charles says i would love to be justin when i grow up um he was like not only would i like to have a lovely wife and a lovely family uh, i would also like to work at forest school and look after children and be outside with them and do all this fun stuff um like i just want to do that for i want to do this forever <laughs> And I was like, it's really cool. You could totally be Justin when you grow up, but just called Charles. And instead, he prob probably ended up being as tall as Justin because uh, Justin's a similar height to Phil. So. <laughs> but yes, he definitely he wants to um, wants to be Justin. And I think that's really cool. It's a good. It's a good. Um, so he's a good role model to have. He's a good person to aspire to be like. Um, but yeah, so that's what's next for Charles. That's what's going on for we lad Charlesy Boo. Um, as of September, we will have um, Mondays, just him and me, because Charles and, oh my gosh, I can't remember any of their names, Bessie and Albert, I can't be the only parent who doesn't know what their kids are called, Bessie and Albert will be going to forest school on a Monday still, Charles will be going to forest school on a Thursday, so on Mondays I will just have Charles, and on Thursdays I will just have Bessie and Albert, uh, which will be far more normal, because Charles really is quite just chilled, um, but Mondays are going to be super, super cool, and he's got loads of plans, um, we were talking about them today we didn't have albert with us and i was like what are your plans like because we're gonna have like two years of just you and me and then we'll have bessie joining us like what do you think we're gonna get up to um and i said he was like well what kind of things could we do and i said well you could learn to ride or learn to horse ride because i could take you riding on lola and he was like mm, yeah and i said you we could i could teach you to sew because he really wants to learn to sew and he was like mm -hmm. um he wants to go to museums he wants to go to art galleries he wants to go for bike rides in the forest he wants what else does he want to do oh who's that he said something else earlier he wants to do art classes so like a friend of ours often runs um art classes like painting classes and stuff like that so he was like oh maybe we can go to it maybe like i can have an art class like another art class um he wants to do science so like um i put like the mel science box that was posted the other week he really wants to do more of those but like the science ones rather than the stem ones um because they're a little bit tricky to do with mr albert uh so um just because he is so hands wants to be hands-on with everything and sometimes it's like that is a caustic chemical put it down <laughs> um yes yeah, so so we can do things like that that is what he is he is hoping is we're gonna do and i've written do stuff like that i've also found a website where i can buy the things for experiments so um, i can buy the individual chemicals and stuff so we can do experiments uh, as long as i don't blow up the house which it'll be good um but yes so i'm gonna we might get like a key stage three science book and just work through the experiments in that and just to chat about stuff um and yeah just get his english and maths the area the area specifically in english and maths that he struggled with getting them up to the point where he'll be able to do functional skills um english and maths I've added a link in the description below of the functional skills books we will be using. Um, and then that's what we'll do during his um, high school diploma years is the functional skills because he does not need to learn algebra unless he needs to learn algebra. Um, and it might be that that changes by the time he gets to 14. He might have, which is literally in like two and a half years. And I don't like that. I don't like the fact that he'll be 14 in two and a half years. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we might we might do something different by then but i'm planning him to do functional skills and then like if he um oh, itchy nose excuse me Ugh. my allergies are really bad today and my nose is just, just so itchy um yeah he might want to he might want to have a different career by then and then he might need to learn algebra and then we will learn we will spend that time doing um gcc level maths and english level maths and stuff like that um although i'll probably hire a tutor if he wants to do gcc maths I'll hire a tutor for him to do GCSE maths. Probably see if there's like other kids who are his age who want to do that in that local home community and like hire a tutor to like do a little mini class for all of them. That's probably what I'll do for that. But hopefully he just wants to do functional skills because I can teach that and it'll be good. Um, he knows pretty much all of it already. 
I'm rambling and it's, this video is almost 15 minutes long and this is a perfect length so I'm going to go uh, thank you so much for joining me in the car and I'm going to um, I've got my 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 spirituality books it's essentially like the pagan version of bible time um we don't really have a bible it's not a thing because everyone in the pagan world is so different so this is actually that um I would have maybe meditated if it was a nice day but it's not. I don't want to sit outside today. So it's not going to happen. I'm going to read instead. And underline, I've got my trusty pen. And I've got my lovely notebook that says take note. And I've got my pen. I'm going to underline stuff and make notes. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you again super duper soon. Bye.